friends it is almost time to go it's now about 10 o'clock in the morning before we leave and it's wednesday and i was initially supposed to be going up today because i was grooming for another rider but now he can't go which i'm kind of sad about i was really looking forward to like getting the feel for like multiple horses being down there but you know what it's okay all his horses are fine so so i initially had planned to go down today get everything ready have merino stabled and then obviously i'd be grooming for him tomorrow because he had three horses doing the dressage and the same day but now because he's not going the pressure's off me so i don't have to go today but i want to go today because i i want to get down and i want to i want to look around and see the whole place because i'm so excited so i said today i'm going to go down let Mazzy get the feel for the place. I'm going to give him a hack later. I might lunge him today. Let him just relax. Then tomorrow morning, lunge him again. Then have a bit of flat work in the afternoon. Then Friday's dressage day. So I have the full week down here, even though I'm not competing for the full week. And everyone's going to go, why are you down here so early? And I'm going to be like, because I feel like it. There's still a little bit left to do. I have most of everything packed. You guys, it's bedlam back there. Okay, there's seats just behind like we have a little two horse lorry and there's seats in oh sorry not seats beds in behind these two seats there's like a bottom bed there and then there's a looting up above and uh i'm actually yeah i can't wait we've slept in this before and it's actually quite comfy you'd be surprised they're two little single beds but they're grand like and it does the job um we have hookup as well which is great it means we have electricity and everything else so that's nice and yeah the restaurant down here is supposed to be really nice at least it was last year or it was two years ago so i'm really excited for that and yeah i can't wait now i'm so excited i will be able to do a much better vlog this week for you all because i won't be grooming so um yeah i'll do my best to take you along for everything i can um and what else am i doing I'm actually recording this intro before I've actually recorded myself talking for my prep video because the last three days have been so stressful. Like one thing went wrong after another. I was like, oh, sweet, holy moly with Merino and then with everything else, it just all went wrong. And I was like, oh, I have to film a video and I don't want to have to film a video because I'm like in like... Oh, it was it was bedlam. It was absolute flipping bedlam. But you know what? Um, it's okay now. Be fine now. I have more of a direct plan in my head. I don't know how Marino's going to go this week. I really don't. I don't know what's going to happen, you guys. He's either going to go down here and he's going to actually go quite well. Or he's going to go down here and going to totally blow it out of the water. Like, I had a lesson a couple of days ago. Actually, it was yesterday. And <sighs> trotting down one side of the the arena that we have set up back at the other place and um, he's going really nicely lovely in a shape and he's moving forwards everything else then i turn around the top of the arena then he just stops and snorts and goes oh, what's that and i'm like it's the same tree that's been there for the last fucking six days move and he's like no 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 it's new it's a monster and there's a gate like right next to it as well. So anytime a person walks by or a car drives by, he goes, <sighs> I'm like, oh, sweet Lord. But <laughs> I don't like, I know why we've been feeding him a supplement, right? To build up his muscle. And it has a higher amount of protein in it, which is great for building up muscle. <laughs> but uh, when you have a baby horse who's a bit hot anyway, and then he gets more sort of percentage. He's like, whoa. So we're going to see how it goes. I've taken him off it now. And he's off another feed that he was getting to build up his condition. So he's back to just plain and simple feed. And then obviously the other supplements that he needs, but just taking back of the percentage ones. And then we're going to let him then just have i might let him have a calmer i think i will do that a lot of people at the higher level do give their horses cameras i know some people disagree with it and some people go oh, but really they're an incredible tool like they they are they're really really good because it means that the horses rather than 
like it doesn't dull their senses what it does is is when they get really excited their adrenaline builds up you know the way sometimes when they all go <gasps> up in the air it's very hard to say to them okay breathe honey come back down off the adrenaline rush and let's work through it they don't do that they just keep going <laughs> keep going and keep getting excited whereas what a camera does is it helps them come back down off their adrenaline rush faster and that's how it works and it would just help him a lot because what it'll do is it won't stop him from spooking but it'll help me bring his concentration back to what I'm doing faster um yeah and we'll see how that goes then and I'm really excited now I am actually so excited to see how it goes I'm in a class of seriously competitive people though you guys so the results will not be very good you know he has to do a, a test in a long arena in sitting trot which is hard it's really hard for him because he's never had to do that before so we'll see I'll talk to you guys more when we get there bye <laughs> because I do not want everyone to hear me talking. You've no idea how embarrassing it is. I was like, I was gonna do it yesterday, walking back from where we were working on the dressage and <laughs> everybody walking towards me. They were all really big, like event riders. And I was like, okay, <clears throat> never mind. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not embarrass myself today. So I'm uh, standing in the stable right now. Massey's here in front of me. Um, we had, he actually went very, very well last night. I kind of just tacked him out and did some simple stretching work in the arena and he was really good. He softened really nicely. And then this morning I rode him again on the flat and he was, he was okay. He was very tight and very distracted at the start and was like up in the air and he kept throwing books. But then I just worked through it, brought him into the arena and I kind of just calmed, him, calmed it all back down a bit. And then he went very, very well. So I'm really pleased with him. I'll see now. I'm going to ride him again later. I'm going to do another little session out in the, the proper arena this evening for the arena familiarisation and stuff. And then we're on five o'clock tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I'll talk to you more later. lines here out on the cross country now they're tricky for merino they're not too tricky but we'll see how it goes so the first one here mommy turns around the camera you'll see number seven so i'm jumping the red line so what i'm doing with him there's a nice guide up to this because there's two little christmas trees just on your guide it kind of guides you in because i'm coming through the gap up there so what it does is, is it guides you in to this first one and what he'll do is he'll back off this little, this one a little bit because he'll be looking at all the other fences and sort of going, oh, which one am I jumping? So for me, I want him to just pop this out of a nice little counter. Not a show jumping counter, kind of show jumping plus if you like. So pop this one, make sure I meet that square. 
landing over that then I'm just going to sit him up and make sure he knows which one I'm aiming for. So you can see I'm not jumping on any deep fences. I'm coming straight down to the coffin. So I have to make sure we keep him positive and that I bring him through here and he sees C from here. I want to line up. I'm not, I'm basically ignoring that coffin. That coffin is his job to jump. It's not mine to jump it. So I just want to make sure I have him positive and I'm looking at C. I'm not even looking at this coffin. So we're coming down along here. Head over the coffin. You have a good look at that coffin. It's not small. But hopefully he'll just come down to it. Have a look. Not over. I have to remember he is a baby. Then just bring him through here. Here you go. Walk this yesterday's got four strands. Three positive strides, four little show jumping strides. But it depends on how he jumps the coffin, whether he jumps it positive or whether he keeps it, whether he takes it on. And then I'm out over C. Again, they're not that skinny, just quite straightforward. And I'll see, I'll see how he pops this. This will be a nice indication for how the rest of the course is gonna go, but it's early enough. It's early enough, but it's not. He has had a lot of fences to get his kind of rhythm up and ready to move on. So. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so here's another fence I said I'd bring you through because it's just that little bit more complicated for Merino. You can see here we have A, which is a little round top, then up the hill over a drop at B, straight on to a skinny. You can just see the flags through the gap at, at C. So what I'm planning on doing with him is there's a long run from the last fence down to this one. So I'm just going to let him move the whole way coming down that hill. I'll sit him back up on his hind end coming into it, but I won't be pulling. I want him to stay in that forward rhythm. So I'm coming down to this. I'm going to jump this one on a slight angle because when I'm going cross country, I line up flags. And I'll show you, but when you jump down the drop from where I am right now, the skinny's actually straight. So coming into this, again, it's just a little roll top. And I'm going to pop it on a little bit of angle. I've been working with him on doing angles and everything, so he's gotten quite good at them. So I pop this one, he'll pop, hopefully pop it at a nice sort of a pace. It's wide enough, so I want to keep the rhythm, keep the same kind of motion. Sort of show jumping plus. Would have just jumped the first part, so I'm coming up the hill here now. I want to make sure that at the top of this hill, I'm looking at C. I don't want to be, I want to make sure that he's looking at it as well, because there's a few different skinnies around here too. So I want to make sure I, I, he knows exactly which skinny that he has to jump. So we're popping down this drop, which is big enough actually, and then straight on to C. I wouldn't worry too much about the strides between these two, because they're a very long distance. For him, I just want to make sure that he's looking at this fence and that he sees it from a while away so that he's ready for it. There's a sweep off to the left hand side when I land, so I want to make sure I'm ready for that, but I want to keep him moving forwards to this. It's not small, so I don't want him to chip in. I want him to take it on. It's quite wide and it has a very wide base. So there's not too much of an option for him to run out, which is really good. Um, and it's quite a novice skinny for him. It's wide enough though. So I want to make sure I have him moving forwards, that he's not in a behind my leg canter. I can keep him moving forwards. Hey guys, so it is now, we're now day three here and I've had such an easy time the last few days. I've only just woken up, okay, so my hair is a mess, but we're just gonna roll with it. Um, so day three now, I have dressage this evening at half five. And last night I had, I think I mentioned it in my last little clip of me talking, I had a lesson with a different trainer than I'd normally get my lessons with because my other trainer couldn't come down and I actually found it really really helpful because this time we didn't focus on riding through the test which is what I've been focusing on the last few weeks which is a good thing because trust me I needed to <laughs> um but today or sorry yesterday it's not today um we focused on something that he needs to build up throughout the winter do you know what I mean like he needs to be more flexible he needs to be more supple he needs to to work on these things and it was nice because I now have in my head something that I need to work on so yesterday 
he like he didn't go fantastic like he was real tight and stiff like he must have looked hilarious going around the arena but i don't really care because i kind of said to him yesterday marino i'm not holding you up anymore go on <laughs> you have to hold yourself up i'm not doing it anymore so i kind of said to him there you go i tried what we were basically working on is is when your horse is working on the flat right you want your horse to be soft on the inside rein and you want to be able to support them with your outside leg and your outside rein so what we were doing was establishing the outside flexion on a circle which he finds really difficult because he stiffed the left hand side so he always wants to screw his head to the right and swing his bum outside the the circle and of course i was just holding him up with my inside hand and at one stage last night my trainer said just let go of your inside rein and reach down and give him a pat. And what was the first thing he did? He just ran sideways. And he said to me, that's because he's relying all of the time on that inside rein. And you have to just say to him, no, buddy, I'm not holding you up anymore. You have to do it on your own. And in fairness, it really worked. Now, it took a while, but it worked because at the end, I was able to trot him around a circle only using my outside rein and my outside leg and just the tiniest little bit on the inside to just guide him around and not like practically I wasn't even holding him and he went very nicely so I think today the plan is I'm riding him again this morning I'm just going to bring him for a hack and just some simple little bit of stretching and then later on this evening for my test I'm going to do what I did yesterday to warm up to basically straighten him so then I can incorporate then what I've been working on the last few weeks about riding into the test, but he'll be straighter, hopefully, and a little bit softer, which will make it easier. So we'll see anyway. Um, you have to excuse the state of me. I just looked at the camera. Oh my God, I look like I've just like, oh my God, okay, it's horrific. But you know what? This is the life. This is what it looks like with horses most of the time, okay? It is not all pretty and fancy. Nope. I'm in my I'm in my pajamas, sitting in my lorry. It's not that comfy up there, you guys. Oh, I'm up above, up above there, and it's a Luton, okay? But it's it's not as big as a lorry Luton if you've ever been in a lorry Luton. <laughs> so I'm kind of I'm only like inches away from the roof, and it's a bit it's a bit tight now. I'm glad I'm not claustrophobic because if you were, you'd find it hard to sleep up there. But I can do it. It's okay. I think it's just high enough that I don't get claustrophobic. <laughs> but it is it's just it's a little bit it's a little bit tight it's a little bit tight sometimes I kind of look at the roof which is inches away from my face and sort of go I kind of feel like I'm in a coffin right now <laughs> it's not it's not fantastic but you know what it it works it, it works so I don't mind I get a I get a night's sleep in it so and I prefer to stay on site if I'm being honest I hate going over to hotels and stuff and then having to come back I prefer it. it's just it's nicer it's nicer I feel like I love horses and everything else, but when I stay on site, I feel like I'm really close to them if they need me. I know that, like, they, obviously I can't hear them if they start to panic or anything like that, but I just feel like I'm here for them if they need anything. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if I'm in a hotel, I feel like I'm ditching them. But obviously, that's not possible for everybody. I mean, everybody has to swap it around a few times. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, I walked the course yesterday, and I'm actually quite happy with the course. There's... It's a good, nice, beefy track for him. Great one to finish him on because I think it's the biggest test he's ever had to do. So I'm really excited to see how it goes. I'm going to take a few more videos of the course for you. I only took half of it because I was concentrating. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And uh, I don't know if I'll talk again today because I'll be a bit stressed, but yeah. So we'll, uh, I'll talk to you after my dressage is finished. <laughs> see you guys, wish me luck. And he's all plaited. I did lots of teeny tiny ones today. Oh, lots of teeny tiny ones. They're not bad now. They're not bad, are they, Missy? He's gonna be wearing a fly there as well, which is why the forelock is so bad. <laughs> Good boy, ready to rock. Lovely shine off you, baby, too. Good boy. Good old Karen Day and Martin. I haven't even put the dream coat on yet. Look at that, and foreign. Gorgeous shine off him. Vicious look. We have dressage in about two hours now. So, we'll see. We'll see. I've watched, maybe. I've watched a few of the tests and they're all looking really, really good. So, but again, babies, you know what I mean? But it is a five and six year old class and you can really see the difference between the six year olds and the five year olds. Like the six year olds are just that bit further along, you know? So, 
uh, make sure he's uh, he gets a good ride today. So fingers crossed. All right, buddy. We'll see how it goes. Red skies, the heat of August. It's been a long time, but not enough. Cause I'm right back in the palm of your hands, and I don't even understand. Time and nothing changes Why don't we feel like strangers? Thought you had forgotten me I was finally finding peace Now we're walking down the same street You've got your hands in your pockets Like always Seven years.